My name is Michael R. Dutton, and my rank is Lieutenant Commander, U.S. Navy, retired. Then from the rush, I was able to go to uh, an, a, uh, an A school, or excuse me, a C school. Uh, that was air conditioning and refrigeration training. Went to school to learn how to uh, repair and operate air conditioning and refrigeration plants. It was just a, a, a C school to further enable my education as a machinist mate. Um, and then I went to another ship. It was part of my re-enlistment bonus. So at some point in time I had re-enlisted and then I was I was able to go to, I was promised a C-School and I wasn't able to get the C-School until just before I, I, I left the rush and then after I got back to the rush from the C-School, that's actually when I transferred to another ship. So I was actually still assigned to the rush but I was off in Newport, Rhode Island going to the air conditioning refrigeration school. So I wasn't really doing much of anything on the ship itself. I learned about uh, how to uh, maintain an air conditioning compressor, a refrigeration compressor. There's a little bit of difference between the two. Uh, the, the refrigeration compressor and plant brings the temperatures down for the ice boxes on board the ship for, the, for, for food. So it's a little bit cooler than the kind of plant that is going to produce uh, cooling for the ship, the ship's comfort. Uh, and then the cooling for the ship's comfort is not necessarily for the, for the men on board the ship. More, it's more so for the electronics equipment. Because if you can't keep the electronics equipment cool, it's, gonna, it's not going to function properly. So the first priority is it's a, it's a warship. So the first priority is keep, keep the, well, the first priority is to keep the captain cool. <laughs> the next priority is to keep the cooling systems for all of the electronics working properly. And so, so and then the next priority is to keep uh, the crew cool as best you can. But so you learn how to, rebuild compressors, you learn how to take care of, of uh, uh, refrigeration plants and, and air conditioning plants and, uh, and how, to, how to maintain them, uh, how to repair them, and how to operate them. And from there I went to DE. Well, on board the destroyer escort, I went on board, I was initially in AA gang and I was actually kind of, kind of sort of in charge of A gang. Uh, I made first class petty officer by, by then, uh, but I was also uh, at that point expected to learn how to be the engineering officer of the watch in charge of the entire engineering plan and, and on a fast frigate or a, or a, or a DD the, the entire engineering plant is two boilers and one screw so we only had one engine room. Uh, the conditions were a little nicer on that ship because the control areas for the engine room and the fire room were air conditioned. And the watch standards were allowed to, to be in the air conditioned space and then we would have to root on a routine basis go into the plant and take readings and check on the operation of the equipment but we didn't have to be with the operating equipment all the time in, in the heat we could come back up and get some relief in the air conditioning which was a huge improvement I was working as a gang maintaining the, the air conditioning and refrigeration that I was enjoying as engineering officer of the watch at first trainee and then I went through a, a interview with the engineering engineer officer and other engineering other already qualified engineering officers of the watch and they they 
question me about operation, they question me about uh, casualty control, they question me about damage control, all the things that I needed to know as an engineering officer of the watch before I would be allowed to be down there in, co in control of that plant uh, by myself. It is an achievement when, when you're on board a ship to be able to be the engineering officer of the watch. It, it was a DE when I first went on board and then at some period of time, I don't remember exactly when, the ship was magically then a fast frigate. I wasn't really on board long enough to go out on any cruises. We did some training exercises out in the Atlantic and that was pretty much, pretty much it. I don't recall going on a med, med cruise on that ship. Uh, I would have to dig back down into my, my records and I don't even have a cruise book from that ship, I don't think so.